welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have another edition of Sample Saturday. I have some color products in here too, which I don't always get to throw in new ones of those because I don't go through those quite as quickly as other things. We're going to start with those. I'm actually wearing them today. So you're going to see the blush and highlight. Um, my nose is a little shiny because it's a very pretty blinding highlight. Uh, the blush that I used is from Ciate London. It is in the shade Pinch Me. And these ones are made in the PRC. This was an Ipsy sample. It's a pretty shade. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this as a blush, to tell you the truth. There it is. It is very sheer. It uh, does not have a lot of pigment to it. And it also is very shimmery. It is not a matte blush. So I feel like it would be better almost as a highlighter than as a blush. I'm going to keep using it and kind of decide on it. It might be in a future declutter though. So keep an eye out for that. And then the other thing that I am wearing on my face is Wander Beauty. This is the highlighter in After Hours. That's what it looks like. I got this in my Allure box for February. And like I said, it is quite blinding. It's, it's down my entire nose, but just the way the lights are, it's making it a little bit more obvious on the tip of my nose. I think it's really pretty. I do like it. I will continue to use it. All right, on to the non-colorful things. First, we have a couple of shampoo and conditioner samples. They're just foil packets this week. I am done with conditioner samples. I have a few shampoos that once I finish the shampoo bottle I'm using right now, then I'll go back to them. But I have hemp. This is the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon herbal volumizing shampoo. It's supposed to create body and volume and then the conditioner. I do like these. I think they smell really good. They clean nicely. The, they're a solid, just regular shampoo and conditioner. Kind of the same as with this. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Conditioner. These are supposed to be for dry hair. Honestly, there was not really enough in here to give me for me to give a good idea of if I'd want to continue using it. There definitely was not enough conditioner for my huge head of hair, but I did, I liked it well enough. I felt like it did a good enough job. All right, Clean It Zero. This is a cleansing balm by Vanilla Co. And I used up this whole thing this week. I know. I. I might have taken one extra day. I think I started it Friday night last week. So it took a bit, basically about a week. I used more of it than I normally use with a cleansing mom. So I went through it. I felt more quickly because I just needed more to get it all over my face and to really break up the makeup on my eyes and stuff. It had a slight scent to it. Nothing like bad or overpowering or anything. Just it was, there was a scent to it and it was kind of a fruity scent. I don't think I would probably purchase that again. It was okay, but I didn't really love it. I didn't really love this one either. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And I got, I've had the sample and I've been interested in it because it's supposed to be like a moisture surge kind of dupe. And I love moisture surge. That's my favorite uh, moisturizer. This I do not feel is nearly as good as moisture surge. I've used it a few, three days now and we'll see I'll continue using it it'll be in my next empties and you, you can decide what I'll talk about it more Lynn Caudalie this is the Vino Source Creme Sorbet uh, or Moisturizing Sorbet and I do like this one I don't feel like I like it as much as I remembered liking it though so using it again this week I was like oh it's okay it's nothing groundbreaking. Maybe it's because we're still kind of in winter and it would work better in the summer when I need a lighter moisturizer, but I just feel like it did an okay job, but I wanted more from it. Then we have from Papa Recipe. This is the Eggplant Clearing 5.5 Cleansing Foam. Kind of an interesting name. 
I do enjoy this one. I think it's a pretty good cleanser. It doesn't strip my skin like a lot of foam cleansers do, which I like that. It does foam a ton and it does get in your eyes a little bit. So that was one thing I didn't like about it, but I think it is a really solid cleanser and I do think it's a good one. Like if I got another sample of it, I totally would use it. Probably wouldn't buy it just because I have other cleansers that I've liked better, but yeah, I do like it. Kate Somerville Eradicate Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. This was in my eye creams and I was like, this is not an eye cream. This is like an all over serum kind of thing. It's not like just a spot treatment. It kind of has a smell to it. I don't like the smell that much to tell you the truth, but I think like it's doing a good job on my skin. Um, I'm pretty clear I don't have any active breakouts at the moment, yay. And I've just, I've been putting, I would put this on every other night. I haven't used it every night. And in those nights, I don't put my Mario Badescu anti-acne serum over the top like I do with most of my serums. So I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. All right, last thing. This is the Body Shop Moringa Body Butter. I don't like this scent. Oh my gosh, I do not like this scent at all. I was putting it on my hands and my feet and I have gone down to just putting it on my feet at night when they're covered in slipper socks because the smell just kind of lingers and lasts and I don't like it. It's just too overpowering. And it's funny because it's not like an overpowering floral, but just it's just too much at night. So things that I would repurchase, I would most likely repurchase the Kate Somerville. I feel like this is a really solid uh, serum. And I do have, I mean, I have Hemp's, a full size liter of both of those. And then there's just a whole bunch that are fairly good. Nothing like super, super good, but still pretty good. All right, so those are my samples for the week. Let me know your thoughts on them. Have you tried any of these? What are your, what have you thought about them? Have you heard about them? What have you heard as well? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Let me know down below how you are doing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.